is the world's largest democracy. Liberia is one of the smallest. Our two nations have forged a bond of friendship that transcends size and spans decades. As a very strong woman leader, indeed, the late Prime Minister set the path for many of us who have followed her footsteps as leaders of our countries. Her Excellency, the President of Liberia and Nobel Laureate Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, drew huge applause on her opening remarks in her acceptance speech when she considered it her honor to receive the coveted award in the name of the first woman Prime Minister, Srimati Indira Gandhi. She dedicated this award to the people of Liberia, the women of Liberia, and the world in general. To women everywhere, I say, have the courage and the daring to do what is most purposeful and meaningful in your life. Raise our voices. Let yours be a voice for freedom. While drawing parallel between the first elected woman president of Liberia, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, and the first woman prime minister of India, Srimati Indira Gandhi, UPA chairperson Srimati Sonia Gandhi said Sirleaf's four decades of political and professional journey is a story of strong determination and indomitable courage. Her method of peaceful negotiations to resolve disputes is in line with that of Mrs. Gandhi, who once aptly said, you cannot shake hands with a clenched fist. Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh outlined India's relationship with Africa as defined by emotions, values and interests, terming it as a natural friendship between people of the two countries with common concerns and values. Madam President, you have made history as the first elected female head of state in Africa. More importantly, you have set your country on the path of peace, stability, democracy and development after two decades of suppression, violence and conflict. President Pranam Mukherjee, while congratulating the Liberian president, outlined her contributions that have dramatically altered the course for Liberia, which even stand tall today as guiding example for the women world over. India and Liberia have a long-standing relationship of friendship and cooperation. We stand with President Sarleaf in her efforts to pursue stability, economic growth and democratic governance for the Liberian people. The Nobel laureate's closing remarks once again drew huge applause and a standing ovation when she recalled the role of Mahatma Gandhi as a global icon and regarded him as an African Indian. And now let's take a quick look at the life and times of Her Excellency, the President of Liberia. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf is the 24th President of the Republic of Liberia and the first elected female head of state in Africa. She is serving her second term as President after winning the 2011 presidential elections. President Sirleaf has throughout her career spanned over four decades, demonstrated passionate commitment to hard work, integrity and good governance, advocating for the rights of women and the importance of education to provide a better future for her country and its people. She has revived national hope by strengthening the institutions of national security, good governance, leading the revitalization of the national economy and infrastructure and also restoring Liberia's international reputation and credibility. Her entry into politics came in 1972 when she delivered her now famous commencement address to her high school alma mater in which she sharply criticized the government showing her determination to speak truth unto power. This was the start of a distinguished professional and political career that has spanned over four decades. After decades of fighting for freedom, justice and equality in Liberia, in 2011, President Sirleaf received the prestigious Nobel Prize for Peace. The Liberian president also co-chaired a United Nations high-level panel of eminent persons on the post-2015 development agenda. During her tenure, President Johnson Sirleaf has built strong relationship with the international community. 
DD News caught exclusively with Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, the 24th President of the Republic of Liberia and a Nobel Laureate. First of all, many congratulations, Her Excellency. It's really Durdarshan's honor to have you with us this evening. Uh, to begin with, what does this award really mean to you? What does this really signify? Because we remember when you opened your speech, you drew huge applause with the mere mention of Mrs. Indira Gandhi, the first woman prime minister, and the award goes to you, the first elected head of the African state. Well, as I said, it means so much to me. It means a lot to the women of Liberia, the women of Africa, I dare say the women of the world because um, it represents a woman who herself um, had her footprints in history, uh, one who provided effective leadership for her country, who paid the ultimate price for the things she stood for, for the principles by which she lived and for her love and commitment to her people and her country. And so I'm just proud to, to be a part of that history in this very small way. Well, you have certainly made history in many ways. And uh, talking about Srimati Indira Gandhi, she was very popularly known here as the Iron Lady, and so are you. When you talked about Mahatma Gandhi as a global icon and the way he has shaped many destinies, of course, here in India, the influences that you mentioned, especially uh, when you talked about him as the African Indian. Mahatma Gandhi has really inspired you, isn't it? Mahatma Gandhi not only inspired me, he inspired generations in this world. Uh, he was the godfather and grandfather of love, of compassion, of um, peaceful uh, pr processes in promoting democracy. Um, his life has been emulated by so many of the other icons of this world, whether you're dealing with Martin Luther King or Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela yes. They all follow his footsteps. And as I say, we truly see him as an African because he lived in Africa, in South Africa, and started the movement that ultimately led uh, to the end of apartheid, uh, the movement that led to, to marginal, that abolish marginalization in much of the world. So there's no figure more towering, mm -hmm. more historic than Mahatma Gandhi. And just for me to have been here, uh, to have been able to, to give this lecture, to be able to accept this prize um, from a family that stands so stalwartly mm -hmm. above everything else. And the most touching part also of the visit, not only did I go um, to his to his tomb and mm -hmm. and have a chance to see, but also his home mm -hmm. uh, later today and his granddaughter, mm -hmm. who walked me through the hallowed walls of memories of his life and his work. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a great visit. All right. Uh Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh uh, did mention uh, that uh, India shares a very special relationship with Africa, which is driven by emotions. And of course, you also talked about the fact that how two countries are so closely in it, and especially uh, Liberia, uh, our role there in peacekeeping missions and vice versa. So do you think today, uh, when you come here, you've received this award, uh, this has taken the relationship between two continents to a uh, next level to a higher level, and especially the relationship between India and Liberia? I do believe so. Um, in a way, we already have a relationship because Indian businessmen, um, Indian teachers, um, Indian health, health service workers, doctors, and have worked in our country, have supported our institutions. Our trade with India has been there. But this visit is going to now lead, as you said, to a much higher plane um, because the relationship will be strengthened. Uh, we will be able to do exchanges in the fields of education, of health. We talked about learning from the experiences of India in agriculture, mm -hmm. the Green Revolution. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we also had an opportunity to see how we can build bridges between the two private sectors of our countries mm -hmm. through investment, 
um, through increased trade. And, and this visit then just leads to me to say, also India relationship with Africa, and I would be a strong promoter and supporter of that relationship. The India Africa Forum that has been started, that will be an annual uh, event for the opportunity for India and Africa to share experiences to, to show the results of it. It's all those things that uh, my visit um, will lead to a much more active uh, part on, on my, for myself personally as well as for Liberia in promoting stronger India-Africa um, partnership and relationship.